Hi guys, VK2PCT. I'm just doing some um, tests on the beam I built. So we're just picking up the uh, beacon here at Dural on 28262. That's probably close enough. Uh, we can hear it. As you can see, I've got uh, preamp 2 on. And we've got about, uh, we'll say around an S1 to an S2, maybe S1.5 on the beacon there at Dural. So, um, bear in mind I've got preamp 2 on. So, an S1 is probably the average. So let's take, take that. I'll just show you the front and the back on this beam I built. So there's the beam facing. It's actually facing south uh, west. So the back of the beam here, which is the reflector. So now I've turned the beam around. So it's actually facing towards the dural uh, beacon. So there's the driven element and there's the reflector up the back. So let's have a look at what the meter back says inside, there. You can see that's around an S5. Now before when I had it, I had it at an S6, uh, pretty constant. So I'm just probably slightly off alignment there. But as you can see, the preamp's still on two, and we're at around uh, S5 to an S6. So the front to back to me roughly works out to be about 26 to 30 dB front to back. So that's quite good, consider it's only 1.5 off the ground, and I've actually got it pointed through the house uh, towards Dural. So that's a pretty good uh, front to back result for me at uh, about 1.5 meters off the ground there about 1.6 meters off the ground um, that's quite good um, as you can see the uh, amp 2 is still on um, so so everything's the same except we've just spun the beam 180 degrees all right I'll show you the uh, SWR curve uh, just give me a sec I'll just got to stop it and I'll just set it all up and I'll give you a look at the SWR curve Alright, so we're going to do a sweep. Uh, I've just done one as you can see, but the phone rang. So, uh, just doing this on my Samsung. So, uh, we'll have a look. The center frequency is 28500 plus or minus 1000 kilohertz. So, that should be about 500 either side of the center frequency. So, we'll just do the sweep. So, as you can see, the center is about 1.1 1 .1 to 1. If we move down the band, So this is even good for 27 megs. Look, we could, with a tuner you could get that in, and we could probably fine tune that even more. But um, I'm not interested in 27 megs. But those who are, so at 28, we're well, look, we're about 1.3 to one. And 29 500. We're at about 1.4 to 1, so that's a ma that that gives you the whole of uh, whole of the 10 meter band. All right, I'll just show you what I've got temporary set up. Um, no ballon, I have no ballon because of uh, the frequencies. Um, that's pretty resonant right across, um, so we have no issues with RF current coming back. So I've got no ballon connected, but I'll show you what I've done as a temporary solution just to test this antenna. At the moment, what I've got is my coax coming up here. You can see I've been playing around. It's twisted around the temporary mast. The mast is about 1.6 metres off the ground. So what I've done, I've got an SO239 uh, bulkhead connector here. I've got the centre pin uh, soldered. And I'm running an earth off the earth shield side. And on the elements here, I've just got an alligator clip. Um, center pin, uh, sorry, center pins on the right here. And on the left is the uh, outer braid. And uh, all we did to uh, get the band resonant, so at first when we, we, we slid the inner rails in, now I've got a screw in there to hold them in the fixed position. So I slid the outer rail, so I've got 14 mil here with a uh, 12 mil inner. They're 1.6 wall thickness. So what I did is I measured both lengths so they're equal. And then uh, the best I could get the resident uh, SWR 28500 was 1.6, 1 1.7 to 1 with uh, 2800 to 2900 uh, uh, on, the outer, on the inner and outer band limits was 2. 
But when I observed the, uh, when I looked down the length of the antenna, um, through making that SWR adjustment, I found that the director, uh, the driven element was inside the director. So what I'd done is I shortened the director by about two inches either side, and I ended up with that SWR curve. So, um, we, we're going to make this a bit better. We're going to drill a hole here. We'll tap some cable, probably drill a hole through that um, uh, plate. And uh, um, considering we have an amount of ballon there, look, if you're going to use it outside, I think it's about 5 to 1. We'll have a look at that. I think it's about 5.5 to 1 on 20. So if you had a decent tuner, you could actually tune this in on 20 as well. Um, but we're going to look at doing a half-wave tri-bander with... Uh, with uh, 20, 15, and 10 on it. Uh, so we'll see how we go. But that's where we are. I think we've got a success. You can see the, the front to back ratio on this antenna is fantastic. And uh, uh, as I said, it equates to about 26 to 30 dB. So anyway, thanks for watching. We're going to get it up hopefully today, but um, it looks like it's going to rain. So um, I want to try and get it up on, 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 I don't know if you can see that there, under the spider beam. Uh, and just above the rotator there, just for future testing. But um, what we're seeing is the front to back is um, is is is, <laughs> is phenomenal for a homemade beam, and I'm quite happy with the way it came out. The staff, as you can see, this is your driven element here. Um, I've got the, I've got some. Uh, I think it's about five mil, um, ninety degree angle staff clamp mounted here, staff clamp mounted here, and I've got what what's that about 25, 30 mil separation between the. Um, center and outer conductor for your driven elements and set the same up on the other side here so um to me that's a win so um we might look at we're probably going to use uh, a 90 degree angle on, on all the elements um and we've got the each element um i think they call it parasitic uh insulated from from the main boom so um so we've had a we've had a pretty good win there, I think. So um, 73s, and remember, keep the bands alive by calling CQ CQ, and you just never know who's going to hear. 73s, all the best, and don't forget if you're happy with this video or the videos we do, please hit the like button. It helps us out, um, and it shows that people are happy to watch the content. If not, we um, we'll we'll probably just stop making videos. Um, no point doing it if no one's interested. All right, 73s, and uh, we'll catch you on the airways. VK2PCT. All the best. Cheers.